In today's video, we're going to be looking at Google Gemini and in particular at gems and why you might want to consider using gems and also how you can use them. So let's jump onto the computer. Here you can see I've got my Chrome open. Now the first thing we'll have to do is go to gemini.google.com. Now we can simply type that in the address bar, the URL Omnibox, and then we are in Google Gemini. Now Gemini is an LLM, so you can interact with the AI, but what we want is we want to be using custom gems. Now what are gems? Gems are specifically trained models within Google Gemini that you can query on particular topics. So for example, you've trained a custom gem on the entire English UK curriculum, or you've got a gem trained on the Singaporean curriculum, or maybe you've got a gem trained on the EYFS curriculum. Then when you go into those gems, you can query them and they will draw on all the information and training that is already there. Let me show you what that looks like. So here, for example, I have the general interface, but on the left hand side, I can click and then I have the option to explore gems. Now, Google already provides a couple of gems to you. Here you can see we have the chess champion, the brainstormer gem, the career guide and the coding partner. Now, these were created by Google. Have a go, play with these and see what the real power and value of a custom gem can be. Today, however, we're going to make our own. So I'm going to click on new gem. Now, when I do that, I get a different interface. Here you can see I can give my gem a name. I'm going to call this UK Curriculum Expert. There we go. This is my curriculum expert, and this is going to have a couple of custom instructions. So I've already developed a prompt that I would like to use for this custom gem, and I'm going to use the Rhodes framework. So Rhodes stands for role, objective, detail, examples, and style. So I'm going to give it all of those things so that the gem can act in that way. So first of all, the role. We're going to say you are an exceptionally knowledgeable and experienced educationalist specializing in the UK national curriculum. Primary function is to act as a pedagogical guide and a resource for educators, parents and students. Then the O, the objective, is to provide comprehensive, accurate and creatively inspired guidance on the UK curriculum. And then I give it a couple of examples. So here, clearly identifying the objectives, distinguishing between statutory and non-statutory, develop innovative and engaging pedagogically sound activity ideas, and answering in-depth questions. Then we're going to move on to the D of the Rhodes framework, the detail, curriculum expertise, you possess a lot of knowledge on the UK national curriculum, England specifically, across all subjects and key stages, EYFS, key stage one, two, three, four, post 16 where applicable. We are going to have a pedagogical approach. Every response must be framed with a strong pedagogical rationale. We are going to have some clarity on that statutory versus optional. And we are going to give an example there as well, already labeling statutory and optional or non-statutory objectives. We're going to give a little bit more detail there and then move on to some examples. So here I give it two examples of how I might craft a response. For year four English, a statutory objective is to use, and it goes through all the examples there. I also give a second example regarding the key stage three science curriculum. The statutory objective is, and then it goes through that. Finally, we're going to go at the S of the Rhodes framework, the style in which I would like it to respond. Responses should be structured logically, clear headings, bullet points, and concise language. Again, this will become a planning tool for me, so I want it to work in this way. If this is not to how you prefer to work, then you can change that there. You can tweak the style that you would like the LLM Gemini specifically to respond to you. We want complex concepts broken down, understandable components, and I want to maintain an encouraging and supportive tone throughout the entire document because eventually I want to be sharing this with colleagues so they might query and use this almost like a custom chatbot. So this gem is now ready to go. I'm going to add some knowledge to it. So here we can add some files. Now, obviously, because we are querying the UK national curriculum, I also have to access the national curriculum. Here's the full national curriculum. It's a 201 page document. I'm downloading that document and then I'm going to upload this into Gemini, into my custom gem. So let's go ahead and click on this plus icon and we're going to upload a file. 
Here we go. You can see I'm now uploading this file into my custom gem. It is being processed at the bottom. It has now been integrated into the custom gem. What I can now do is I can preview it. So I can test the custom gem before saving it, before deploying it. So here on the right-hand side, I'm going to test it. Let's ask it a everyday question a teacher might ask. I teach year one and I'm about to teach about animal groups and classifications. What? should I be covering? Very generic question. Now it is going to query the information I've given it. It's going to respond in that Rhodes framework. So remember, we give it a role, an objective, detail, examples, and then finally a style. It is showing its thinking here and then gives me a response. For year one science, when teaching about animal groups and classifications, you should cover the following statutory objectives from the UK national curriculum. Identify and name common animal groups. It gives me the examples there and it links to where it found that information. Identify and name feeding groups. They should identify different types. So carnivores, herbivores, omnivores, again, linking to the actual reference point. You can see it is also referencing the document on the right. And then finally, human body parts and senses. Then some pedagogical approaches and activity ideas. It gives you the activity ideas, some animal group and classification ideas, animal kingdom sorting activity, curriculum alignment. So you can see it directly addresses the statutory objective. And it gives you some other activities here some cafe signs, it gives you some animal structure, Play-Doh drawing activities. Excellent. As you can see, the gem is working exactly how I expect it to work. So I can now save this. I'm going to click on save. And that gem is now available to me within Google Gemini. So what I can do is I can start a chat with the gem. So when I click on start chat, it opens up in the general Gemini interface. But instead of just chatting with Gemini, you can see here I am speaking with the UK curriculum expert. Then any question I ask it will be in relation to the UK curriculum. So let's go ahead and do something slightly different. Let's say create a mind map of what needs to be covered in year two, science. So let's go ahead and see if it can answer that question based on the information it has available. So you can see it is analyzing my question. It is using a custom gem. I can show its thinking. So you can see here how it is processing the PDF content. It's looking at everything available to it. I can give it more resources if I want it. I've only given it the general curriculum, but I could give it additional PDF files with more information, activity ideas, maybe my own planning, older planning, anything I can think of. And then here it gives me a nice little curriculum map. So the year two science curriculum focuses on, it gives me some core disciplines, and then it tells me what I should be doing. I should be looking at asking questions, observing, performing tests, identifying, classifying, and then it gives me the full breakdown of all these statutory objectives. And as you can see, it is following that guideline that I set up in the custom gem. It is putting it in between those brackets, so it's very clear to me what is a statutory objective. This really helps you to save time. You can create a vast array of different gems, all on different topics. One could be your report writing custom gem. Maybe you load your report style, your school's branding, the way that your school wants reports written into that custom gem. Another could be proofreading. Maybe you have a specific gem created for communication with parents. Maybe another gem is for communication with colleagues. Anything you can think of, you can create a custom gem and that way you don't have to preload the Gemini experience each and every time with a new framework. You create the framework once and then you can query that custom gem. Now, if you have not subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe for many more tips just like this. I also want to take a quick minute to thank our Patreon supporters as well as our channel members. They get access to these videos early and completely ad-free if you are on Patreon. If you found value in this video and you'd like to become a channel member or support us on Patreon, links to those will be in the description below.
In the meantime, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.